G'day guys, Michael Tamitz here. Today we're going to be learning about mesh types and how it can help with your instancing and animation. Mesh types are a way of allocating which geometry is best fit within your GPU memory to give you less rendering times and less GPU memory strain. So what are these mesh types? There is global, scatter, movable and reshapable. For global, Anything that is not movable or scattered um, is typically used for global. Um, using this correctly will um, increase speed rendering, um, the speed of your render, but if you use this for scattered and movable, it will bog down your GPU memory. For scatter, switching your instance trees, grass, flowers to all scattered will use a lot less GPU memory, however, obviously with more scattering, the more slow your rendering uh, will be. Um, know your card's limitations in general. For movable, any geo that is moving in the XYZ axis should be set to movable as it just loads the mesh the first frame and just reuses that for every other frame. And for reshapable, any mesh that is, any character or mesh that is deforming um, objects uh, use this um, for it, so reshapable. It's up to your scene, your card, and time to know how you're going to allocate all of these certain mesh types. So here we have a Maya scene with all these different objects um, that we're going to assign to different mesh types. Before we do, we're going to have to go to the rendering settings and go to the Octane settings. Go down to animation mode and put it to from forward to movable proxy or movable. So here we have a square. The square is going to be global since it's not scattered or movable. Um, here we have the uh, the scattered spheres where we're going to be placing them to scatter um, since they're going to act as though as though they are instanced. Here we have a movable triangle that's been keyframed, if you can see the animation here. Um, for this type of mesh, we're going to be putting it to movable proxies, to the uh, movable mesh. Here we have what would be a character-based mesh to form. Here we're going to be putting it to reshapable. Um, using these correct settings, will drastically improve the rendering time and the memory load than to just putting it to full and to putting it to um, global for each and every single one. Here I have a scene, an example scene, of instance trees with a camera 2360. The stats for this scene is that it's a 101 frames. Um, with the global on one side and the scattering on the other side, here are the results I got. For the global, it took 20 minutes for it to render the 101 frames with it on the animation mode on full and everything on global. With the animation mode set on um, movable proxies, with the tree set to scattering, representing an instant object, the rendering time went from 20 to 16 minutes. And this is just with this one example scene. So this shows that um, when you're dealing with heavy instance objects of grass, pebbles, um, trees, um, you have animation, animated objects, it is crucial to allocate it accordingly and it's not just to leave the animation mode to full and your mesh types to global as this can and will save rendering time and GPU load and can save you, um, in terms of studio time, a lot of money. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.